Hi, I'm Paula. I'm a third year photography student and today I will be talking about making my final photography portfolio. First off, I'll talk about the digital version that I made, specifically the website. Um, this is a great tool to have and it's super accessible to everyone and you can just send it out to people that you'd like to work with. I've had mine since starting first year and since then I've regularly updated it and constantly replaced old images with newer, much stronger work. Um, that way by the time you get to third year you already have a really strong collection of images and you don't have to go through all your three years of work. I'm hosting my website on myportfolio.com which you can get free access to if you're already subscribed to the Adobe Cloud. It works great for me because it has a really minimalistic feel and I can show my images in grids of three but depending on the way you want your work to be seen or the images you take, another platform might be more useful to you. Like I said, having a strong website is really helpful when you're applying to jobs and you want people to see your work, especially earlier on when you haven't already got a physical or a PDF version of your portfolio. As well as having a website, I created a digital PDF version of my portfolio. For that one, I decided to simply show my images on single pages and with no borders at all. I find this the best way to show the details of my work and for people who look at it to really take in every single image as they go through it. The general rule for making a portfolio is to start off with your strongest work, show your less stronger work in the middle and then finish off with your strongest work again. Of course this can be really subjective so it's really helpful for us to have our portfolio crit during which we got some really helpful feedback from industry professionals. This was a great opportunity because they obviously have a lot of experience and have seen many many portfolios during their career. With my portfolio for example they recommended taking out three of the images I originally put in there because they just simply didn't fit into the editorial feel that I was going for and they also told me to edit out a branch of the very first image of my portfolio um, which was simply too distracting and I would have otherwise never noticed it so it was really great to have someone else's opinion on my work. Now going on to the physical portfolio there are many different options you can present your work um, and it will mostly be used when you can actually go in and see people again and you want agencies or photographers to view your work. I personally went for a portfolio box in which I'm going to present my images as prints. This option is the most affordable for me and it will be very similar to my digital portfolio where I'm showing single pages with no borders. The downside of this version is that people are going to directly touch your prints and cause some wear and tear as they're going through your portfolio. However, the images can be easily reprinted if they do get damaged. I purchased my portfolio box at Silverprint as recommended by my course leader and hopefully Hopefully it will last me a good few years. I chose an A3 size which is small enough for me to carry it to interviews and stuff but also big enough so that people can see the details of all of my images. Printing the images takes place in our digital darkroom. There we have access to our Epson printers which can print as large as A2 with access to glossy luster paper as well as matte photo rag paper. Before sending the images off to print, I made sure that they all fit the width of A3 and I also added a light layer of high pass so that they came out nice and sharp. In the digital darkroom, the technicians are there to help you prepare your prints and also help you with any issues you might have with the printer. For me, despite having printed there many, many times, the first couple prints came out really purple and it was really frustrating but luckily one of the technicians was there to help me out and he basically showed me that I just simply selected the wrong color profile with the print settings. Even though I decided against borders in my digital portfolio, I decided for this version I wanted to keep a one centimeter border around all the images. That way it's just nicer for people to handle the prints and they have a little bit of a gap to hold on to them when moving them around. And it also just frames the images really nicely when they're laying in the black box.
Once everything was printed, I simply put all the images in the right order into the box and I was done. If possible, I might also get the design studio to emboss my name at the front of the box to personalise it a little bit, but until then, this is how my portfolio turned out. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.